Well, I don't know any addict who hasn't hated waking up sick in the morning. And that's one of the big, that's one of the first things I noticed. Um, the morning that I finally woke up and the withdrawals had really subsided and I woke up and I just laid there for a long time because I didn't feel sick. You know, I didn't have horrible stomach cramps to wake me up in the morning. I just woke up on my own. Um, you know, and, and just, it doesn't get easy that, that when you're done with the withdrawals. That's when the hard, that's when the hard part begins. So, you know, the withdrawals is if you can just get through that and just hang on, then, you know, then you, you just don't have to feel sick all the time anymore. And you don't have to chase and worry about where is that next high coming from. You don't have to worry about how you're going to get $250 that day. You know, um, you don't have to worry about any of that. And and then you can start focusing on yourself. And that's where the real work comes in. You know, I one of the blessings of recovery is even in the past, even before I was using, I was still a lost little girl. And I still didn't know who I was. Um, I didn't know who Heidi was, you know, who am I? And honestly, going through the fire like that and then being able to work through the steps of recovery, which for me is, you know, admitting I had a problem um, and, and being able to find my higher power and turn my life and my will over to God, you know. Um, the subject of God is really sensitive for a lot of addicts. A lot of addicts are very angry at God or don't believe in God. And I, I would tell them you don't have to, you know. But for me, you know, finding that was one of the biggest blessings that I have received because now I know I, I always, there's someone who has my back. There's always someone who's there to listen to me. And, you know, it's made my life easier. All the choices and decisions that I, I make every day are, are, are based off turning my will over and not making those choices for myself. I just say, all right, God, here I am, another day clean and sober. What is your will for me today? And I just do the next right thing, you know, and just, now I'm going to go make breakfast. Now I'm going to get up. I used to n never be able to be reliable, stable, you know, even before my addiction. My life was very unstable. I would never stick to anything. And now, you know, I've had the same job since I got sober. I've been able to make a career out of that job. Um, you know, I've, I still wake up in the morning sometimes and I sit at the edge of my bed and I'm like, oh, I don't, I can't do this. I just cannot get up. And that's when I know, okay, it's time to pray. Um, my life is so beyond blessed today. You know, I have my, my sweet little girl, um, you know, who's uh, added to the family. Um, my little, my sweet little boy that I earned back. And um, anything's possible. Me and my husband have a lot of goals. But they're now possible today because we're clean and sober. It wouldn't be possible if we decided, oh, we can drink on New Year's. Or, oh, it's, it's fine. You know, my, my knee really does hurt. Maybe I should ask my doctor for pain pills. No, you just make the choice not to do those kind of things and really focus on everything else and it all falls into place. And that's where the promises come in. It's, it's taught about at AA, and it's in their book, and it's so true. There's promises that these promises will come to you. you. Your life will be blessed, and whatever that looks like for you, you know. For me, it was just like I could have peace. Um, all this material stuff is just extra, you know. I mean, it's something I can feel proud of because that's not something I would have been able to do before, but it's not what is important. I feel happy, truly joyful for the first time in my life.
even before I started using. Um, you know, it taught me a lot about myself and I got to build up a, who I wanted to be. Now any addict, you know, no matter what they've done in the past, it is never too late to start over. It's never too late to get better. Um, why have tomorrow when you can have now? 